If biofuels won't replace a large percentage of oil, what will? Some say compressed natural gas, or CNG. This is natural gas, just like you burning your stove at home. OK. Except we're going to put, run it through a compressor and pump it up to 3,800 pounds and then uh, put it in the bus. 3,800 pounds is a lot. Hell yeah. <laughs> but that's the only way you can get that much gas into the, such a small area. So there's a big engine sitting, is it sitting in the back? Yeah, yeah. Is it different from a diesel engine? If you look at it, you wouldn't notice the difference. It looks just like an engine. Same thing. Just like Just a different fuel. There you go. That's as simple as it gets, just like on the bus. Is this the tailpipe? That's the Mockford tailpipe. And so I'm uh, standing right here next to the emission. Oh, yeah. Is that yeah. hurting me? No. <laughs> no. What's coming no. out of there? The emissions on these things are very low. As you can see, it's very clean. There's no smoke coming out. Yeah. So I mean, on a diesel, bus. we'd be seeing. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, and the, the, the cleaner diesels, it's not as bad as the old right. smoke yeah. going out the tailpipe. Yeah. But still, this stuff, you never see it. Unless something's drastically wrong, you'll never see anything come out of these tailpipes. I mean, we're in a room. It isn't just a perception. It actually is very clean fuel. And when it burns, you just get carbon dioxide and water vapor, and that's pretty much it. You right. don't have all the smoke and particulates that you right. see in diesel. So it's a very clean burning energy source. And more and more transit systems are looking to get into it. So, so looking at the whole system you've got here, and you've transitioned from fully diesel just over 20 years ago to now fully CNG. Yes. Compare that cost-wise and some of the pros and cons of making that change. The actual cost of the fuel is less than diesel, and has been for the last several years. Natural gas is cheaper per mile to operate these buses mm -hmm. than diesel. But the biggest uh, issue is the cost of getting into it. You have to have compressors to compress the gas. So uh, we have five really big compressors that are running all the time. What happens is you have a higher capital cost, but you have lower energy costs. Right. So if you use the vehicle a lot, then you end up making it very attractive economically. Natural gas could be used in heavy duty vehicles, in buses and trucks where that are fleets and you sure. have central stations. So you get your compression done centrally. Yeah. And you're sending them out from, like the bus station that we visit. Like a bus station yeah. works very well. If you took all of the America's city bus fleets and made them all compressed natural gas, it wouldn't have that much of an effect. It's such a small percentage of the, the total diesel that's burned in America. Really? Uh, where, where, yeah, uh, the city buses. Yeah. But a lot of trucks out there do also. Yeah. Think of that, the over-the-road trucks, the city trucks, all the, the delivery trucks, okay? Uh, if you took all of those vehicles and converted them to compressed natural gas, which they could be because right. they're fleets, right? you would have an impact. Like biofuels, CNG will be a valuable supplement, but it won't replace oil.